you for watching. Thank you for joining us. It is, um, it's Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday to some, depending upon your religious beliefs. And this, this Taco Tuesday got off to a rough start. I, you know, the internet was down for almost an hour today. Multiple major websites crashed this morning due to an outage from uh, a company I never heard of before, a cloud service company called Fastly, which sounds like it was named by Donald Trump demanding a Diet Coke, but <laughs> Amazon, CNN, New York Times, Pinterest, Twitch, Google, eBay, uh, and more, all were offline for 50 minutes. It led to the world's most productive hour of time in the last 30 years, but... <laughs> It all came back online, thank goodness. Everyone in the world hit control, alt, delete at the same time, and voila, the internet is back. Whew. It is also very hot in the country. A record-breaking heat wave is uh, waving. Six states saw record highs yesterday, and some of them are also being hit with a horde of cicadas. Now, it's never a good sign when a weather forecast ends with just as the Bible foretold, but it has been happening. <laughs> These cicadas... We don't have any of them here, I'm glad, but there are these noisy insects that emerge after 17 years underground to mate like a bunch of horny teenagers on prom night. And the reason, they're an interesting creature. The reason they all come out at the same time is because it makes it impossible for predators to eat all of them at once. So they're just, it's like bottomless breadsticks at Olive Garden, but for bugs. <laughs> And there are so many of them, they're even popping up on the weather radar. This is the radar from Washington, D.C. All that blue, those are bugs. Those are... <laughs> Boy, between COVID, the heat, and these cicadas, it's like someone figured out an algorithm to make sure we never go outside that. I suspect Netflix is behind this. And, of course, our first instinct as Americans when we find something weird in the woods or nature or whatever is to figure out if you can get high from it. And that might be possible... <laughs> because some of these cicadas are said to be infected with a psychedelic fungus. Emerging cicadas can be a tasty source of protein, but will eating them get you high? I did some quick calculations. My feeling is you'd probably have to eat about 100 of the infected cicadas for it to have any potential effect. Yeah, great, done. I'll let you know how it goes. I'll... <laughs> you know what, uh, maybe... <laughs> I'll eat, we'll eat 100 cicadas before the show tomorrow night. We'll see what happens. <laughs> the cicada of presidents Donald Trump is planning to reemerge for some paid live appearances. He's teaming up with Bill O'Reilly for a series of live events they're calling the History Tour, which was also the name of Michael Jackson's tour 25 <laughs> years ago. And wait until you hear those two do The Girl Is Mine. It's quite a duet. <laughs> but they're planning to do four shows and tickets go on sale next week. So if you enjoyed Charlie Sheen's violent torpedo of truth tour, but you weren't so excited about the truth part, this might be your thing. <laughs> Donald Trump's former lawyer could use a lawyer right now. After CNN uh, released what could turn out to be the second most damaging tape of Rudy Giuliani this year, you remember Trump's perfect call with the Ukrainian president, the one he got impeached for, all that quid pro quo stuff? Well, a few weeks before that call, in July of 2019, Rudy dialed up a senior Ukrainian official to put the squeeze on, and now audio from that call has leaked, most likely from Rudy's head. And <laughs> CNN got their hands on it. You can hear Rudy it can be heard repeatedly pressing Ukrainian officials who at the time were desperate for our support that would help them hold their ground against the Russian army. And you're not going to believe... What a coincidence this is, at the same time Trump was withholding that support, Rudy was leaning on them to announce that they were investigating Joe Biden, and this is what Giuliani wanted the president of Ukraine to do. If he could make some statement at the right time that he supports a fair, honest law enforcement system and that these investigations go wherever they have to go, it's going to be run by honest people, that would clear the air uh, really well. And I think it would make it possible for me to come and make it possible, I think, for me to talk to the president and see what I can do about making sure that whatever misunderstandings are put aside. And maybe even, uh, I kind of think that this, is, this, this could be a good thing for having a much, a much better relationship where we really understand each other. 
<laughs> what is in his mouth? <laughs> <laughs> a hard candy in there. So there you go. He lays it all out. Nothing subtle about that. He's like, you guys like quid? Well, we got some primo quid. We're going to need some quo. And Donald Trump is very pro quo. So Giuliani is being investigated by federal prosecutors. This, all this guy does is dig up dirt, whether it's on Joe Biden or Hunter Biden or just trying to get out of his grave every morning. He's a dirt digger. <laughs> And he could be in trouble for this. I think you heard even his teeth are trying to distance themselves from his mouth. <laughs> this is an encouraging statistic. More Americans support same-sex marriage than ever before. After thinking it would bring the end of the world, 70% are now in favor of, <laughs> of same-sex marriage. It's, it really is amazing how far we've come in such a long time. I mentioned last night, <laughs> It's Pride Month, and a number of American companies are embracing that, including Burger King. Burger King has an LGBTQ plus spin on their new chicken sandwich. <laughs> they wrote, during Pride Month, even on Sundays, your chicken sandwich craving can do good. We're making a donation to HRC for every chicken soul. That is a uh, not so subtle shot at Chick-fil-A, which is not open on Sundays, and uh, Chick Mate, in other words. And while you, you may be wondering, what makes the chicken a an LGBTQ plus friendly sandwich? Well, the secret is all their chickens are gay, um, <laughs> and it's um, it's specific to that restaurant chain. Yes, you know, even Apple has a special. <laughs> are you worried that if you laugh at that, you might get in trouble? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's. It's a confusing time, it really is. <laughs> Apple yesterday, um, the company, not the fruit, unveiled all the new features for iOS 15. And there's a lot of new stuff there. On FaceTime, you can now schedule calls, you can blur your background on the calls, and you can see everyone on the call in a grid view. In other words, they invented Zoom. And <laughs> they've all, they're also updating the mobile wallet with these digital keys that will let you remotely unlock everything from your car to the front door of your house. So you better make sure your phone is charged, otherwise you're sleeping in the yard. And, <laughs> and this was the big one. This was the new thing that everyone was talking about today. It's a feature that allows you to listen to music and watch videos remotely with a friend. Technology plays a bigger role in our lives than any time in history which is why in 2021, Apple is making it easier than ever to accidentally share your porn. <laughs> Years ago, we made it possible to accidentally screen share porn on the family TV. <laughs> then we connected all your devices so you can see exactly what your father-in-law is searching for on the iPad you let him borrow. <laughs> now, with an unintentional swipe of a pinky, you can invite a random contact to watch whatever video you're currently watching, especially porn. <laughs> We've also updated your camera. Now you can accidentally send a link to your live front-facing camera to your boss, friends, neighbor, your entire contact list, even while you're pleasuring yourself, <laughs> especially while you're pleasuring yourself. And lastly, we've enabled something called health sharing, where you can monitor the health levels of your loved ones. So let's say your mom and dad's heart rates simultaneously increase on the night of their anniversary. <laughs> You'll receive the notification. <laughs> there you have it. Daddy's getting some of that mommy honey good. Real good. See you next year, you disgusting porno pigs. That's some great new stuff there. <laughs> I honestly feel like people would be more excited if Apple started taking features away. Like, starting on Wednesday, no one can ever leave you a voicemail again. I'd be good with that. <laughs> you know, as you probably know, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle had a baby girl here in California on Friday up in Santa Barbara, and obviously it's a Huge score for us here in the USA. I mean, last time we had a royal baby was when Queen Latifah was born. It's been quite some time, so 
Uh, this afternoon, we went out on to Hollywood Boulevard and we asked people passing by for their thoughts on a bunch of stuff we made up about the royal baby in tonight's edition of Lie Witness News. Actually, talking about the new royal baby that was just born, they streamed the birth on Twitch. Did you watch that? Uh, yeah, I caught a few clips of it. It was interesting. What did you think of it? What, how did, what was the quality of that birth on Twitch? Uh, definitely nothing short of spectacular. You could tell there was a lot of money behind it. Uh, it was a great watch for anybody who enjoys uh, whatever the crown is up to. What was your reaction when you looked at that video and watched that? Gruesome. I mean, childbirth for women is becoming more normalized, especially so we're not really surprised about it anymore. But we were surprised that he posted it. And again, it's still a shocking sight to see when you look at childbirth because it's gruesome. Who are you watching that with? Myself. I was I'm just scrolling through TikTok and it came up on my For You page. I was like, whoa, this is different. So. <laughs> You don't usually see a royal baby. Yeah, no, on exactly. And you don't really see childbirth on TikTok often at all. <laughs> what was your reaction when you saw that the queen came out with the statement as soon as the baby was born that she was also pregnant? Is she just trying to steal some of Meghan's thunder? That's what it sounds like. It seems kind of weird that you would say that right then. Are you disappointed with the queen? Yeah. Why don't you look right in there and let the queen know not to steal Meghan's thunder? Queen? I think that if you're a queen, you shouldn't be trying to steal other women's shine and things like that. You should be wanting to uplift other women and make them feel like queens as well. So I don't really like that queen. It's a very British thing to name a girl George. What do you think of that name? Um, if it's a tradition and that's something that they're comfortable with, I don't. And, the, and George's middle name, Costanzington. What do you think of George Costanzington as her name? Um, is there like a special meaning behind the name? I don't know. You don't know? I think it's, it's a name about nothing. It's a name about nothing? Does that make her more of a people person, having the baby on the floor of a Walmart bathroom? Just makes her like any regular person, you know? That was bold. That was bold for sure, yeah. What was your reaction when you saw that the couple had decided to have the traditional British royal birth squatting in a kiddie pool filled with Earl Grey tea. So I said that uh, this kind of birth is like more convenient for moms. Did she have a Earl Grey tea birth? No, <laughs> no. She had like a normal delivery without any tea. Were you surprised to hear that Megan had twins and put one up for adoption? How did that make you feel? Uh. That was, a, that, was a, that was a surprise because I don't believe that no child should be treated um, differently than the other one or loved differently than the other one. Would you like to congratulate the baby that she did keep? Yeah, congratulations. You, you made it. You got it. You got it. She's a royal, so she has the full long name. Right. Karen, Bond Girl, Dasani, Rocket, Chabani, Muffin, RuPaul, Euphenia, Doubtfire. Wow. Wow, that's a long name. Uh, congrats, uh, Fizzy Wicked, Co what is it? Fizzy Wicked Co Cobble Pop. Congratulations, Westmerther Camel Club. Welcome to the world, Muffin Kensington. Welcome to the world, Mimosa Persimmon. Congratulations, Prince Henry and Meghan McCain. Uh, hope for the best with your new kid. Uh, I didn't even know they knew each other. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. I hope you enjoyed that video. Hit subscribe and all your dreams will come true, assuming your dreams are to watch more YouTube videos.